Thank you, and thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you for those who are going on the buses tomorrow to Albany. Here at uh, Clinton Square, it reminds me that it was another Clinton, General Clinton, in the late 18th century, that led soldiers through this part of the world to burn and kill and pillage everything in sight, scattered the Onondaga people who ran for their lives, made sure to burn their crops so that they couldn't come back. And yet now they're back, they're back and going to Albany, going to ask for justice. What began there ends here. This is a moment, a time of, of incredible and historic importance. It's unclear how it will all end. We can all only hope. But we know that this is a time of great change. All we need to do is look around. We know that the, the climate is changing, the world is changing. It's a time of danger and it's a time of great hope. The Onondagas have taken this courageous stand and it's just at the right time when last year hundreds, hundreds of people came out to learn, to understand, to support, to create a climate in this community where it's, it's possible to think about how we will live together into the future, how we will learn from our Onondaga teachers and learn how to live well on this land while living lightly on this land. Our first job is respect and thanksgiving. Respect for our Onondaga neighbors and the leadership that they're providing. And thanksgiving, both to them, to our own ancestors who made it possible for us to be here tonight and for this land that we're all sharing together.